Hello, my name is Nicole Irwin, and today I'm going to show you how to create a header for your own blog, similar to the one seen in my WordPress blog here. This header might be used also in a wiki if you desired. The program that we're going to use to create the header is called GIMP. GIMP stands for GNU Image Manipulation Program. This is an open source, free download from the internet. You may find it at the website www.gimp.org. It will work with PC or a Mac. Once you have downloaded and installed it, we will be ready to begin. The first thing you need to do in WordPress is determine which template you would like to use. Their predefined templates allow you to adjust and change which header you provide. Depending on the template you select, the header size will be different. The header in the template that I have chosen is a specific size, so we will create a new document of that size. It's 940 by 198 pixels, and GIMP provides us with a blank image in that size. Next, I will open the image I wish to use as my background. So what I'd like to do is take this image of my daughter's bookshelf, which I took a photo of. I want to use only the area of the books and place it in this background in the header. And then I want to put my text on top of that. So first we'll do the background. And I need to select the portion of the image that I wish to use. So I'm going to select this rectangle select tool, double click on it. And then I'm going to go to my image, pick a corner, and drag to the opposite corner, filling the space with as many books as I'm able. And I'm going to right click, edit, copy, and that will copy only the area that I have selected. And I will go to my new header file, right click, edit, paste. It has placed the image in the file, but as you can see, my photo was much larger than the size of the header, so the image is only showing a little portion of it. We All we need to do to fix that is scale it, which is this tool in the toolbox here. So I'll double click on the scale tool. And rather than trying to drag the corner, which is one option, I am going to enter in the same dimensions as my header and scale to that and see what it looks like. So now my books stretch across the screen. They all fit within the space of the header and I, I like the way that's going to look as a background. So I will go and I'll close my photo since I'm finished with it just to save some RAM. And the next thing I'm going to do is add the text, the title of my blog. Go to the text tool, double click, and here I can select a font which I like, maybe something a little bit bold. I've already made it 50 pixel size. I don't know if that will be correct or not, but we'll try it. So I'll double click in the center of the image and type my title. I can click on the words and drag them so I can see how they fit. Obviously 50 is too small, so I can up the size by typing in a different font size. The words fit into a shape, an outline selection. If they are too big for the outline selection that is defined, you can drag the corner until all the words fit. And here you can play around with where you want to position the words, in the center, on the bottom. I like it there. If you wish, you could change the color of the font by double clicking and selecting a shade that you would like. You can see the new color there, but I'm going to stay with black because against all that multicolor background, I think it will look the best.
an extra step that I could do if I don't like the contrast between the words and the background is add a shading layer. So I add a layer by clicking on this icon here, create new layer. I've named the layer shade and I'm going to make it a white layer. So it's stacked it on top. Imagine the layers like you're building a sandwich. S bread, fillings, more bread. So this white layer is now the top slice of bread, but I don't want it there. I want it between the words and the photo of the background. You can see here on this layers panel how the layers stack up. The background is on the bottom, then this white layer in the middle, and my text is on top. Now with the white layer solid white, I can't see my background, so I'm going to change the opacity by sliding the slider to a point where I like. It can be anywhere. So I like that. It's kind of faded the books into the background and makes my text stand out a bit. So now it's time to save our image. blog header. First save it as it is, and that will save all these layers. So if you wish to change it in the future, you can come back and make any edits without having to recreate it from scratch. Then save as, select file type, and we are going to select JPEG so that it is in a format that can be uploaded to WordPress. Now you've saved your image as a JPEG and you can go back to your WordPress template and find the header and upload it and you'll have a brand new custom header on your blog which will bring some personality to your blog. Thank you very much.